and welcome back today we're flying out the scimitar mark one and i'm gonna start off with this little clip here of me defensive flying because a lot of you guys have been asking me on the guide on that stuff and i just want to notify you all it's been worked on but until that is done i want you to just enjoy me absolutely tucking this mig 21 straight into bed but what is this plane like because that's probably what you are here for this thing is extremely good you have power for days you have really good speed you have four missiles you have aidens and you might think why is it 8.7 and you are right in asking that the main reason will be because it's an absolute pain in the ass to get guns on people at all times because you do not really have a rudder at higher speeds and at lower speeds you are still a boat you are reliant on people falling for your energy traps you'll see a lot of energy traps in today's video because there's just no real other way of killing them if you are very good with keyboard controls and you can only fly with the uh, aileron and the elevator the rudder might not hinder you as much if you are someone that just flies around with the keyboard only all the time it's maybe a little more serviceable but as someone that flies with the mouse a lot and tries to find you in the rain it's it's hard to get kills with this thing as long as the enemy keeps their speed and the reason this video is so long today i'll see if i can cut out anything is because i just don't have the ability to kill anyone and the a5 right there he's basically stalled out he's going very slow and i'm not gonna win the long fight with him i can stall him out of course but i'm very susceptible to getting third party the a5 isn't the highest priority target in general so i'm just gonna break off and i'm gonna go back to the middle of the map and see if i can do something over there because if i waste all my time on killing the a5 my team is gonna be gone by the time i'm done with him and as you see my team is already just straight up gone which is kind of annoying the a5 is keeping his altitude he's not diving in but he has no reason to because i'm the only one at altitude and on the deck razor is like a 1v5 1v6 in his mystia 4a which is also stock because it's his second game so he's gonna struggle a quite fair bit and if you are asking where the video is on that thing i'm just gonna tell you it's simply not going to happen that plane is very reliant on bad enemies and just shield luck in general you can play like an absolute rat but at the end of the day you play all those vehicles that are kind of suffering the same way they are very slightly different of course because they all have different properties but the, the rule of thumb is they all fly the same and i might make a video on that how to fly stock planes bad planes and all of that good stuff together but for now we're going to focus on the scimitar and how to kill an entire team when you can't really kill anyone so we got a razor on the right or our left depending on the camera angle you're looking at and we got two guys going for him one is going for me so i'm just gonna go up here i'm gonna put my speed into altitude use those engines get that power and if the f2 there thinks he's gonna pitch up for me i got bad news for him now i'm on the six of all three of these guys because the f2 decided not to stick and i can start cleaning the six of razor over here one of them actually breaks off which is perfect and i'm just gonna ignore him because i can't really pull in and i notice that there's a guy there stalling himself out trying to pitch up for one of my friendlies an AI even so we shoot him don't manage to get a kill and now I'm gonna zoom in here for this F9F because I want to get him out of the match and you can tell that my cursor is not really f oh I'm, I'm having trouble it's very hard to get your guns on especially at higher speeds and that's just the main problem with that thing if I was flying anything else or well not anything if I was flying about 90% of the raster right there I'm pretty confident that I would have killed him 9 out of 10 times without much issues the problem with this thing is you need to line that nose up way before you get the shot and if they react to you lining that nose up you are probably not going to be hitting them if it's a 1v1 you can drain them off fuel pretty easily as long as not a 163 or mig 15 biz or min fuel all other planes you can eventually run down to the deck stall out and then you will kill them with relative ease the problem is you're more likely than not not going to end up in a 1v1 it's either going to be like this or it's going to be the other way around where it's 6v1 and i thought about saving the vote 2 because the a5 saber is occupied and i might be able to gun him down but i noticed that the vote 2 was already pretty badly damaged or he was at least smoking a little bit the a5 was way too close and if i had gone for him the thing that would have happened was i would have wasted my time flying over there and then last second the vote 2 gets killed and then the a5 looks at me and i wasted all that time because i didn't gain any position i didn't gain anything in general and all i did was just fly over there burn fuel burn, burn time and give the enemy the ability to get their speed back 
Right now I have an F Saber kind of below me. And I have that A5 all the way over there. So by flying away from the A5 right now and doing kind of a loop, or like a horizontal loop above the uh, F Saber below us, we made it so that none of these two guys are now catching us and I'm able to go down for this MiG-15 base. Because at the end of the day, this thing is very safe and you can fly this thing very passively, you can run forever, you can run the straight lines forever. But that's not how you're gonna win a game unless you have a massive ticket advantage and they don't have an ability to kill the vehicles on the ground. MiG-15 here is busy with Razor and he's in a dogfight. You can tell I'm just fighting that nose. I'm trying to get my guns on but it's simply not happening. And I kind of drag a line over him. I shoot some rounds, all goes around him. No luck there. And the F Sable then breaks off and he goes for Razor, which is the correct call. And I kind of fucked him over here. But the F Sable then continues on to try and run me down and it's not going to happen. But he stuck just long enough to push me away. I'm getting some separation and now he does a 180 and he starts diving on Razor again, which is very bad for us. Because if Razor goes down and there's no one for us to keep those guys slow, which you will see very soon here, we are just going to have a massive problem because I cannot hurt the pack on my own. This is one of those planes that's very strong if you got some teammates. And the less teammates you have and the less people that are being baited, the more of a problem you're going to have. This thing is very good at switching between furballs, switching between areas on the map and just running people down. Always putting on pressure because you never really run out of speed. And this thing flies very similarly to how you would fly the Hornet. Except it's a little harder to kill people, especially at higher speeds. I try to run down the F-Sable here, he turns into us, and then the A5 switches from me to Razor. But then he goes for the Canberra, which is great, because now we have a little bit more breathing space. Problem is, there's also an A4B coming in, and the Canberra then kind of turns back into us, putting the nose back on us again, so if the A5 is going to overshoot the Canberra, the A5 is instantly going to go for Razor. And we have like four enemies all among us here, which is very, very annoying. Canberra goes into the ground, and now we are 3v2. F9F is luckily flying away for us, the A4B is not much of a problem. And for now, I just want to go in there and kill one of those Sabres as quickly as I can. If possible, the F-Sable, because he's just faster, has better acceleration. But the A5 is presenting himself here. And I'm shooting a little bit of a risky missile. And I know this my team kill Razor. But we are in the squad. We agreed on it. So I just need to get him out of the match. I managed to miss the missile. But then he just kind of presents himself. And at those speeds, I won't really struggle hitting that kind of shot. He was just going that slow. The F Saber then rams into Razor, and now it's 2v1 for the time being. So, what do you do in this kind of matchup? I have a MiG 17 and I have an A4. And the A4 has missiles, so I want to get those gone as quickly as I can. Luckily, we are pretty far away, and those missiles are not going to catch us. And they just shot one missile each. And I think the MiG 17 still has another one. I'm not going to keep turning here because that missile might pull in and blow me up. I know it's only an A9B equivalent but you never know with this game i've had it happen before that missiles go twice the range they are supposed to it's very inconsistent and it doesn't happen very often but if i can avoid it i will mix 17 is trying to pitch up for me here and we just do the patented thing of doing a little bit of a horizontal loop with a little bit of altitude climbing very slightly and let them pull into us they are bleeding more speed than us they are going slower than us but the number is getting slow slower the number is getting smaller and therefore they will probably keep pulling into us i do want to be careful because if i stall myself out and they do shoot another missile at me i am probably dead and i'm not sure if they have any missiles left so i don't really want to risk it until i see the second one leave their rails and at this point two kilometers 1.6 kilometers i can start tightening this loop up a little bit or this turn up a little bit and there comes missile number two and nowhere near the distance to let that pull in. I'm going 500 still as that thing is launched. And now the A4 is basically stalled out. As well as the MiG-17. So I drop the flaps for a little bit. And I'm going to start pulling in. The thing is this thing does not have the nose authority to actually do this. And so even though I have all the energy in the world right now. I'm in a very good position here. Because this plane is such a boat. I still will not be able to get a shot off here. I'm going to shoot off one of the missiles on the MiG-17. Don't manage to do so. He's already pulling in. And then I try to go for the A4. I can't do that either. Because he's already pulling in. And if I again had been in any plane right there. In that kind of position. 
they probably would have died. The thing is, this thing is just a massive brick and there is no real way around it. If they keep their speed, if they keep their nose pointed at me, I'm going to have a very hard time actually killing anyone. And now I need to reset. I hear another plane and I'm not sure what it is. I see the A4B shooting a second missile off. So now both of these guys have no missiles, which is great. Because this makes it so that I can play a little bit more aggressive. Because I cannot run the energy traps that I want to run when these guys have missiles left. Because if I go straight up, if I try to go a little bit too slow. And even though if I have 2 kilometers of altitude on them. Where I'm completely out of their gun range. They just have to lock me up. They just have to fire the missile. And by the time I turn my nose into the missile so that it breaks the heat signature. The missile is already there. Or it's so close that it will pick it up in the head on regardless. Because the AIM-9B at like point blank range. I think it's about five to 600 meters. Will still pick up your heat signature. Once you go going directly head on with it. And then the MiG-17 breaks off. And the A4 decides to recommit. The MiG-17 is going for AI now. This makes it so that I can 1v1 this guy over here for a little bit. But there is the MiG-15. Luckily he's all the way on the deck. A4 now dives back down as well. And I'm not entirely sure what these guys are trying to do. Razor is st staying in the field in the hope that one of them will just strafe him. Because if one of them strafes him. Guess what happens? They are going to be occupied. And they are going to be busy looking at, well, not me. So right now the MiG-15 clearly showing a sign of weakness. I want to gun him down. And he's pulling up here. And I should hit this. I should kill him right here. And I just completely bin the shot because I cannot pull in enough to the left. Pull the right. Doesn't matter. I couldn't pull in just enough. And then he goes back for the Mystere. He gets strafed. And there goes my trump card. Well, my trump card, there goes my uh, one trick, I guess. I don't have much options here. And I'm really just bound by the fact that these guys should not stickle me like they are. And if they stickle me a little bit more aggressively, where they just stall themselves out, I can kill these guys very, very easily. The thing is, they're all sticking. They're all being pretty aggressive. But they all break off just in time. And as long as they keep breaking off in time, and I don't get a lucky shot or I get a good shot in with my rudder, I'm not going to kill them. As long as they react to what I'm doing. Instead of having a battle plan that they try to force on me. They will win. They will just run the match out of time. Because I do not have the ability to run four people out of speed at the same time. Well I have the ability. But then I don't have the ability to capitalize on it. He's the MiG-17. He rolls into the ground. Not entirely sure what he's trying to do. But at the end of the day. Do I recommend this vehicle? Well, especially in ground RB, this thing is pretty good. You get four of those bullpups and you have power for days. The thing is, in air RB, it's just not very enjoyable. And this is one of those matches that's very, very common. What you're seeing right here is something that happens very, very often. And that's the reason I'm trying to show you to it, it to you. And I can have a good position, I can stall them out perfectly. And as long as they do not stick long enough, they are not gonna be dying and the F9F here while it has four missiles and it is pretty slow it also has the ability to just keep his nose on me it does bleed a lot of speed and I'm trying to use that to my advantage here by doing a very wide loop trying to make him turn into me and maybe get him to shoot off all his four missiles that's one three to go and I'm trying to get him a little bit closer because if he's too far away and I'm going too slow the AIM-9B will actually pull in and kill me. The MiG-15 in the kill feed is still killing ground units. Here comes missile number 2. And the F-9F at this point is going very very slow. So I want to try to tighten the turn a little bit. Trying to get a little bit closer. I'm trying to stall him out as hard as I can. We are going to start dropping the flaps. We are starting to pull in here. But he's still trying to get his nose on us. Luckily... He doesn't have the speed to do it. And he doesn't really have the acceleration to get away from us either. And as long as he keeps turning. He will be absolutely abysmally slow. Try to shoot a missile. Breaks heat signature because he just doesn't have any. Doesn't pull in in time. Luckily we managed to get him slow enough. So that we can gun him down. And by the time I reached him I was already going 820 km an hour. And the brother there already almost binned the shot for me. And there goes another enemy straight into the ground. Which is great for us because at the end of the day that's the only reason this entire game turned out the way it did. Because even though it's not the best kind of footage, it's not the best kind of gameplay. 
this is what your average match in the Simital, if you have to do anything on your own, is going to look like. And this is with me flying it pretty correctly. If you make mistakes in this thing, uh, you're gonna do two things. You're either gonna be running away for the entire match, flying straight, flying fast, and waiting for the enemy to just get bored. You're going to camp the airfield, and if you do that, you can get the fuck off my channel. Or you're just going to die because you can't really dogfight anything. And none of these scenarios are very fun. This is the best case scenario while still being relatable. And it's just... It's an extremely boring plane. It's extremely passive. You can be aggressive with it, but you're just not going to get many kills. Not very often, anyway. It's still a plane with an insane amount of potential, but the stars really need to align for you to be able to kill an entire team in this thing. But back to the fight here, I went head on with a MiG-15, I'm going much faster and I have a lot better climb rate, especially at those speeds. So I just went up, and what does he do? He doesn't follow and he stays horizontal, making it so that I have to come to him. And as long as I have to come to him, I'm not going to be killing him, I need him to be pulling up for me. Which is exactly what he does here. And then he needs to stick it still, because he can stick this with me, and he can get kind of in gun range. I probably should start turning right here, I'm trying to get a little bit more separation and just to... Uh, the nine the ability to get a lucky shot in problem is he just breaks off in time and a mig 15 has ample time to get his speed back up because look at me look how long it takes me to get back on the six and then to even get in range i'm now going 800 i'm still diving i'm now basically useless in terms of guns and he's trying to come head on with us he dodges the head on I don't manage to pull in i think that's a little bit of bad aim on my end and not so much to playing but you can tell that even a MiG-15 bis, he's completely drained of energy. I'm going much faster. I can do this all day long. Problem is, I only have 5 minutes of fuel left. The game is about to end. And there's still an A4B somewhere on the map. So, we turn back after him, yet again. And just look at the amount of time it takes me to get back into gun range. It takes forever. And if you give the MiG-15 some time, by the time you re-engage him, he's gonna be 800, 850 again. Which makes it so that you can't really gun him down. Because he just has too much authority, too much speed, too much energy to do something he wants to do. Don't have the authority to get my nose in there. I need to fly straight here because otherwise I give the kill to the A4. So, what do we do? We pull in front of them. We keep them somewhat close. And now they are both right next to each other. Which is pretty ideal. But I want to be mostly scared of the A4B. So I'm going to try and get some separation in here to run the missile out of fuel. And the hope that he shoots one at long range. Because a lot of these guys do, especially if you are the last one alive. There comes missile number one. He just resupplied. So I have a very... I'm pretty confident he still has a second one. Trying to outfuel or outrun the missile here. Because as long as you don't have to turn into it and just drain it off with fuel. Make it explode mid-air. It's always more effective because nothing that's bullshit can really happen to you. The problem is, because I went straight for a little bit, the MiG-15 in the meantime was able to get all the speed back. So now I'm in a situation where I want to run the A4 out of energy, but it's also a MiG-15 right next to him. The A4 is not going to be an issue here. As long as he shoots that second missile off, I'm gonna be completely fine. The problem is that MiG-15, because he keeps breaking off. He's aware of the fact that I'm trying to stall him out. And if he stalls out, I can just missile him. The problem is, he's not taking it. He is staying on my six. He's keeping his nose on me, but he's also delaying his, his pitches so that I cannot stall him out. He always comes up. And by the time I have the ability to turn back into him, he's already gone. Look at him, he's already gone. So he's playing this right on his end. He can't really do anything more. The A4 is extremely slow right now. And he's going to eat that missile. Just kidding. He pulls in just enough. And here's the big 15. And I totally should have hit that one. Sure the rudder kind of fucked it for me. But I should have predicted that roll. Because he has been doing the same thing the entire time. But I'm getting frustrated. And you don't hear me say that very often. Normally it doesn't really affect my playstyle. But here I was getting really annoyed with this plane. I just every time getting a shot and every time you miss it and I was just kind of getting kind of getting a little bit jumpy getting a little bit overly aggressive and I'm gonna start pushing the attack on here a little bit harder because now I'm one agitated and two the game is about to end I have three minutes of fuel left three minute 20 and 
the tickets are not enough favor so I can't even run the tickets out by just doing this forever and ever if I want to win I need to kill both of these guys and now the A4 doesn't have any missiles left I stall him out and I'm not gonna drop on him instantly I'm gonna go horizontally for a little bit here wait for his nose to drop and then once I start pulling back in I'm gonna cut my throttle and I'm gonna try to get my nose in as quickly as I can right now he is so damn slow as long as I do not overspeed and compress my rudder completely this guy is gonna die right here we get on the six now I need to be aggressive the A4B does not turn well whatsoever especially once he's going that slow right now I don't know what a MiG-15 is so I'm just gonna start popping a blind on because I need to win this match there he is I thought he ran away for a second but he was just in my dead zone and is this winnable yes the problem is this MiG-15 has been playing it right the entire game and he's just not sticking long enough for me to do anything and I sound like a broken record I know but that's how this plane is it's repetition it's doing the same thing over and over and over and over again until the enemy gets fed up enough to do something like this he went head on with me I stayed below his nose and as long as I don't get any desync he is not going to be hitting that we have 50 seconds left on the clock now that head-on was completely suicidal and you won't see me doing that very often but I did it anyway because if I hadn't taken it I would have won 0% of the time whereas with the suicidal head-on my odds go back to 50-50 maybe slightly in my favor because of these guns hope you enjoyed it see you all in the next one